Hi everyone. So today I have with me problem 4.25 and this is from the forces chapter. And if you like my videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. I love reading your comments. Okay, so let's get back to the problem. A student of mass 45 kilograms jumps off a high diving board. What is the acceleration of the earth toward her as she accelerates toward the earth with an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared? Use 6.0 times 10 to the 24 kilograms for the mass of the earth and assume that the net force on the earth is the force of gravity she exerts on it. Okay, so with this problem, let's go ahead and um, first write down all of our knowns because I think that's just um, the fastest way to get all of the information we need in one place. Okay. So let's say that our, well, not let's say we have our mass. That's the first piece of information and that's 45 kilograms. And then we have the acceleration. Uh, what is the acceleration of the earth? We don't know that. So what we're looking for is acceleration of the earth. And she has an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. So that's going to be 9.8 meters per second squared. And the mass of the earth is equal to 6.0 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. All right, so what we want is acceleration of the earth. Okay, sorry, just had to take a quick break. Okay, so this problem is really, let's draw it out. So we have um, some sort of like diving board and on this diving board, there is a student. I'm just gonna draw her with a little skirt, even though that's not really what she would be wearing if she was diving off of a diving board. And what is happening is that this is maybe some water, but really, this water is planet Earth, right? Or this water is on planet Earth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just make that a little bit more clear with some better diagrams. And that's, let's just go ahead and fill that in with blue. And some green. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw like just some scribbles. We just had North America and Latin America, or sorry, North America and South America, well, includes Latin America, and just drew Europe and Africa. Okay, all right, that's a horrible earth, but that's an earth. Okay, and now, so what's happening in this question is that she is diving off of this board, and she's doing that with some um, acceleration, and what we want to know is how much is the earth accelerating towards her? So this question might just sound like really weird if you haven't already started your forces chapter, but the this entire question is actually just based off of Newton's third law, right? And what exactly is Newton's third law? Newton's third law is, oh, actually, let me just like write it up there so that I don't have to erase anything. So Newton's third law, and that is every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if you have some force F1, Right, so if you are pushing against some wall with some force F1, the wall is pushing back on you with um, this F2, right? So it's equal and opposite, right? Well, let's just say that we have like some force A on B, it's, it's going to be um, the equal and opposite force is going to be B on A, right? The negative of, sorry, yeah, so, um, you, A pushes on B, that means B is going to push back on A. 
And yeah, so every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And that makes sense. And that's just Newton's law. Okay, so what does that have to do with this question, right? So if this um, student, she is exerting some force on earth, right? No matter how minuscule, no matter how small, the earth is ex exerting a force back on her, right? So really it's force of student on earth is equal to minus, equal and opposite reaction. So opposite of the earth, the force of the earth on the student right? So we know that the force of student on earth is going to be m times g, right? The student on the earth, it's her mass times her gravity. And the force of the earth on the student is going to be the acceleration minus the acceleration of the earth times the mass of the earth, right? So if we're looking for acceleration of the earth, we and we already have her mass, we already have gravity, we already have mass of the earth. What is going to be the acceleration of the earth towards her? And just, you know, um, one thing that you might be thinking is that this student is so tiny and, you know, um, weighs almost nothing compared to earth. So like, how is the earth exerting a force on her? So, or yeah, so how is the earth exerting a force on her? Well, it's exerting an equal and opposite. Um, it's exerting an equal and opposite force, but I think it's way better to look at the components of like, not the components of the force, but to look at the formula of the force, right? So it's, it's going to be mass times acceleration. So the earth is absolutely massive, right? It has so much mass to it. It's, we said six times 10 to the 24 kilograms. That means that how much is it accelerating towards her? Just by guessing, we haven't really plugged in any numbers, but just by guessing, we know that it's going to be a tiny acceleration. So yeah, when you, let's say even if she were to, actually, let's go ahead and actually like plug in our numbers so we can get a better sense of, um, yes, we can get a better sense. So M is 45 kilograms. And then gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared minus 9.8 meters per second squared, right? And that is equal to minus acceleration of the earth and times the mass of the earth. So that's six times 10 to the 24 kilograms, right? And I'm gonna isolate for a for acceleration of the earth. So acceleration of the earth is equal to 45 times minus 9.8 divided by minus 6 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. Or, sorry, I'm not, I should be consistent. I'm not really writing out all of the units, so I shouldn't write it down for the mass of the Earth. Okay, so when I plug that into my calculator, what I'm getting is acceleration of the Earth is 7.35 times 10 to the negative 23 meters per second squared. And I'm just going to double check because um, I don't want to make any mistakes and have to re-record. Yep, so 7.35 times 10 to the negative 23 meters per second squared. And that actually makes sense, right? Because like this is such a tiny, tiny, tiny number. And really she's exerting a force on the earth. So 45 times 9.8 um, of 441 newtons. But that that really doesn't, you know, um, cause the earth to accelerate toward it too much. Like the earth's acceleration is almost zero. So that actually gives you a better sense into how it's even possible that um, the earth has an equal and opposite reaction or like intuitive sense. It, it gives you an intuitive sense on how that's possible, right? Um, it makes sense that the earth is massive. And so the acceleration is just absolutely tiny. And um, yeah, so that's her answer. The acceleration of the earth towards her is 7.35 times 10 to the negative 23 meters per second squared. 
I hope that that was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email or leave it in the comments. And if you haven't noticed already, I started um, an Instagram account for this, um, yeah, like for this channel. So um, maybe if people are interested, I can post on there as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.